What's the best 280mm liquid cooler you can buy right now? If you want the very best 280mm liquid cooler, which one should you go for? That's the question this video aims to answer. I've taken 10 of the most popular 280mm liquid coolers from 10 different manufacturers, analyzed and tested them against each other, and then come to a conclusion on which 280mm liquid coolers are the best you can buy right now. If you just want to know which coolers are the best, check the links in the description. And if you'd like to skip through this video to any section, use the video progress bar to select a section or check the timestamp links at the bottom of the description. I definitely do recommend watching this whole video though, so you can see all the pros and cons of each cooler and make the right cooler choice for your system. Now let's introduce all 10 of today's contestants. The CLC 280 by EVGA, the Kraken X63 by NZXT, the IQ H115i RGB Pro XT by Corsair, the A80 by Cryorig, the Liquid Freezer 2 280 by Arctic, the Celsius Plus S28 Dynamic X2 by Fractal Design, the Castle 280EX by Deep Cool, the Flow DX RGB 280 TT Premium Edition by Thermaltake, the Oris Liquid Cooler 280 by Gigabyte, and the Ice Bear Aurora 280 by Alpha Cool. So without further ado, let's start testing these coolers to see which ones are the best. The first and most important thing we'll be looking at is the performance of these coolers. Which ones cool the best and stay the quietest? To test these coolers performance, I applied a steady CPU heat load of 95 watts and then measured noise and temperatures of five different fan and pump speeds from lowest to highest. So we can see how these coolers perform over the full range of their capability. This performance graph may look a bit complicated at first, but it's easy to understand once you get the golden rule. Lower is better. We want the lower temperatures and lower noise, so the lines that are closest to this lower left corner are generally the best. I've ranked each cooler here according to its overall performance. Coming in first is the Kraken X63, with really great performance overall, having lower temperatures than almost all of these at all noise levels, able to get extremely quiet at its lowest speeds, and having one of the lowest temperatures period at its highest speeds. Second is the A80, which has great performance too, performing very similarly to the Kraken, but can't get quite as quiet at its low speeds. And third is the IQ H115i, with again quite similar performance as the top two, but fails a bit at its lower speeds, performing louder and hotter than the top two. And fourth is the Liquid Freezer 2 280, which has really dominant low speed performance, getting quieter and generally cooler than all the rest, but fails to cool much at its higher speeds, being left behind by the top performers. It's also still very quiet at its top speed, which is nice if you want to be sure your cooler never gets loud, but its quiet top speed really limits its high end cooling potential. Also tied for fourth is the Celsius Plus S28. It has good balanced performance overall, but can't get as cool as my top picks and is a bit louder at low speeds. In fifth is the Castle 280EX. It has okay performance, but comes in around the middle of the pack, failing to get as cool as a lot of these. Also tied for fifth is the Flow DX280. It performs similarly to the Castle 280EX, but with slightly better low speed performance and less high end range. And another tie for fifth is the Oris Liquid Cooler 280. Its performance is pretty mediocre, although it has very decent low speed temperatures and noise. Its high speed performance leaves a lot to be desired, where it gets very loud and doesn't drop temperatures much. In sixth is the Ice Bear Aurora 280. It just has quite poor performance overall, getting hotter than the rest and can't get as quiet as the rest at low speeds. It does have a nice low noise level at its highest speeds, but that also limits its cooling potential a lot. And finally, in last and seventh place is the CLC 280. It just gets much hotter than the rest of these at all noise levels, clearly being outperformed. I also tested these coolers at 185 watts of heat, which is a very high heat level that most people won't see, but if you're an overclocker or doing some CPU intense tasks like video encoding or rendering, you may get close to these heat levels. So then this graph should interest you. However, the ranking for these coolers is exactly the same at 185 watts as it was at 95 watts. The only difference is they of course get hotter overall, but the graph looks almost identical to the 95 watt graph as far as a comparison between the coolers go. Also, most of them overheat at their lowest speeds, which you can see where the lines go off the graph at the top, but the Kraken X63, A80, and Oris Liquid Cooler 280 were actually able to maintain low enough temperatures to not overheat at their lowest speeds. So, looking at these performance results, let's pull a Thanos and eliminate the bottom half of these coolers from the running. There's no reason to settle for subpar performance when you're looking for the best 280mm liquid cooler, so we'll take the worst of these out of the competition and continue to analyze the rest. 
The next most important thing to look at is the compatibility of these coolers. Will they actually fit in your system and can you position them how you want to? I've ranked them here according to their overall compatibility with a big emphasis on tube length, which I believe is the most important compatibility aspect for liquid coolers. The tube length determines where you can position them in your case, with shorter lengths being very limited in their positioning. Note that all of these coolers have unlimited RAM height clearance, which means you can fit as much tall flashing RGB RAM as you want with any of these. Coming in first is the Liquid Freezer 2 280, which has an incredibly long tube length of 450 millimeters, which means you can position it, in your case, just about anywhere you want to in any orientation. It does have less motherboard compatibility than some of these, and a tiny bit less case compatibility, probably due to a slightly thicker radiator, but it will work fine with all mainstream motherboards, just maybe not a few older or less common ones. Next is the Celsius Plus S28 Dynamic, which has a very reasonable tube length of 400 millimeters and quite good motherboard and case compatibility. In third is the IQ H115i with 380 millimeter tube length, which is okay, but could definitely be a bit longer to allow for more flexibility in mounting positions. It also has very decent motherboard and case compatibility. In fourth is the Kraken X63 with a great tube length of 400 millimeters, but it isn't compatible with some motherboards, but those are just older and less common motherboards that most people don't use. And last is the A80, which has a criminally short tube length of 350 millimeters. It's actually impossible to fit this cooler in the front of a lot of cases due to the short tube length, which means you'll be forced to put it at the top of your case, very close to the CPU. The short tube length is just unacceptable if you want to buy a really great cooler, because it really limits your positioning options, so we're going to eliminate the A80 from the running. Despite its great performance, it's just way too limited in its compatibility compared to the others that have similar or even better performance. Now let's look at these coolers' appearance. A lot of people go for liquid coolers over air coolers because liquid coolers generally look better, so their appearance can be a big factor in which one you'd like to buy. I've ranked the appearance of the remaining coolers here according to my personal preference, but of course appearance is very subjective, so I'm going to give you a good look at them so you can decide which ones you'd like too. My favorite looking cooler in this bunch is the IQ H115i. I really like the contrast with the black and white colors on the fans, the CPU block looks very classy, and it has a bunch of interesting RGB lighting effects that you can customize in all sorts of ways. My second favorite looking cooler is the Kraken X63. The fans are a bit more plain than my first pick, but they look quite nice just with the uniform black look. The CPU block has an interesting reflective cover with the NZXT logo on it that can be customized to display many different RGB lighting effects. My third favorite looking cooler is the Liquid Freezer 2 280. It has a really unique look with no RGB lighting at all. The long tubing has interesting white stripes on it, and it also has a VRM fan on the top of the CPU block, which isn't very visible in this shot, but it should help cool your motherboard down a bit too. The Liquid Freezer is a very good appearance choice for those who want something minimalistic and classy. And finally, my least favorite looking cooler of the bunch is the Celsius Plus S28 Dynamic X2. It's not bad looking at all, but it's just a bit plain with its all black coloring, the fans look a bit cheap, and the CPU block design isn't as nice looking as the others in my opinion. It does have some nice customizable RGB lighting effects just like most of these coolers. So looking at the appearance of all these, the truth is none of them are really bad looking, so I'm not going to eliminate any of them from the competition based on appearance alone. Most of them look quite similar, except for the Liquid Freezer, which has a very unique RGB list design, but it still looks nice in a minimalistic way. All of them are more than good looking enough to show off in your system. Now let's look at the installation and software of these coolers. I've ranked them here from best to worst for installation and software. The best by far is the Liquid Freezer 2 to 80. It has a very nice online manual with great animations and a full video showing how to install it. The actual installation is ridiculously simple, with the fans coming already attached and only one single motherboard connector needed. It also requires no software whatsoever, which is a big plus in my opinion, because a lot of the liquid cooler software is quite bad, and has even been shown to slow down systems in some cases. It does have one annoying issue with using sticker washers, which makes it harder to reinstall and can mark up the motherboard a bit, but overall a great minimalistic approach from the Liquid Freezer 2 to 80, which just makes it so much easier to set up compared to the others. Next is the Celsius Plus S28 Dynamic. This cooler was very easy to install with no major issues. Like the Liquid Freezer, it only needs one single motherboard connector and it requires no software, allowing you to control the fan and pump speeds right through your motherboard. The fans don't come attached by default though, and there isn't an animated manual like the Liquid Freezer, so it's not quite the best, but definitely easy compared to most others. 
Next is the Kraken X63. This has a fairly typical liquid cooler installation requiring a lot of different motherboard connections and requiring custom software to control the pump speed. Definitely not the easiest installation, so it will take longer than the top two, but I didn't run into any major issues. The Kraken X63 software is a bit annoying asking you to sign up for an account, but you can just log in as a guest if you know where to click. I would definitely prefer controlling it through the motherboard though, but the Kraken X63 software isn't too bad. Finally and last is the IQ H115i. I ran into quite a few issues installing this cooler, so I'd rate its installation as difficult. The instructions are missing steps and have confusing pictures. It uses adhesive for the backplate, which can make reinstallation difficult and can leave marks on your motherboard. And I actually had a screw break off during the first installation of this cooler and had to reorder a new one. The software on the other hand is not bad and works well, but I would definitely still prefer it not require software. So overall, a pretty bad experience installing the IQ H115i compared to these other coolers. The H115i is a good performer and has lots of other good characteristics, but it's not quite as good as my other top picks, so I'm going to eliminate it from the running for its poor installation. There's no reason to put up with a bad installation when there are other better performing coolers that install much easier. Now let's look at the normal US dollar price of the remaining competitors. We can see the liquid freezer is the cheapest, coming in at only $110. Very impressive price for all the features and performance you get with the liquid freezer. In second is the Kraken X63, coming in at a more average price of $132. This is the price you'd normally pay for most 280mm liquid coolers, so it's not bad at all, especially considering the Kraken X63 is also top tier in performance. In third is the Celsius Plus S28 Dynamic. At $166, it's a lot more than the Kraken, and considering it can't quite match the performance of the Kraken and it doesn't look as good, the value just doesn't seem to be there when compared to the Kraken. So I'm going to eliminate the Celsius Plus just for not providing enough value compared to the better coolers here. The Celsius Plus is not a bad cooler at all, but we're looking for the best of the best and it doesn't quite have enough to compete with the others at its higher price point. Lastly, let's look at the warranty of the two remaining coolers. We can see the Kraken X63 and the Liquid Freezer both have a great long 6 year warranty, which is really nice because liquid coolers have many moving parts, which can lead to a higher chance of failure compared to other parts in your system. So it's always great to have the peace of mind with a long warranty. So now we're left with two remaining competitors, the Liquid Freezer 2280 and the Kraken X63. The truth is both of these coolers are really great, so I'm going to give both of them awards, but only one of them I will name as the very best 280mm liquid cooler. The best budget, minimalist, and quiet 280mm liquid cooler is the Liquid Freezer 2280 by Arctic. The Liquid Freezer 2280 is a really outstanding liquid cooler with some very unique features. It performs extremely well with noise levels far lower than other liquid coolers and has a good cooling capacity to match, although it can't get quite as cool as my top pick at high speeds. It has great compatibility with a huge tube length allowing you to place it just about anywhere you want in your case, although its thick radiator may cause problems in a few cases. It has a very unique minimalist appearance with no RGB lighting, which is great for those who want a more subdued professional look. Its installation is ridiculously easy compared to most liquid coolers, with pre-attached fans requiring only one motherboard connection and no software needed. Its price is truly amazing for the features you get, coming in at only $110. It also has an outstanding warranty of six years, so you know Arctic will stand behind the quality of their product. Overall, the Liquid Freezer 2280 is a fantastic product, and I would definitely recommend it for those who want a liquid cooler with great features at a discount price. But the best 280mm liquid cooler period is the Kraken X63 by NZXT. The Kraken X63 is the number one best performing cooler in my performance tests, and when it comes down to it, that's really the most important thing in a cooler. But the Kraken X63 is also excellent in many areas. It has great cooling at all noise levels and is able to get very quiet when you need it to and can ramp up to high speeds for extremely low temperatures. It has good compatibility with a very decent tube length and it will work great with any mainstream AMD or Intel motherboard. The Kraken X63 looks fantastic with some very interesting RGB lighting that you can customize with its software. Its installation isn't super easy, but I had no major issues with it, and it does require software, but that software does work very well for controlling the lighting and speeds. Its price is very reasonable, especially considering you are getting top tier performance, and its excellent long warranty of 6 years means you know it's covered to last a long time. 
overall the Kraken X63 just hits all the right marks to make it a king among 280mm liquid coolers. So if you want the best of the best, the Kraken X63 is the way to go. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit subscribe to see more computer part reviews coming soon. If you really want to help out, hit the share button to share this video with others on places like Reddit, Twitter, Facebook forums, and other social media. I'm a small YouTuber, so every share helps a lot. And if you'd like to donate to my work directly, you can hit the thanks button. Your donations are greatly appreciated. I hope this video helped you make better consumer decisions. See you next time.